Well, that's an odd spot for a coolant leak. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. So welcome back to this guy's garage. Uh, today, my buddy Dave, who's holding the camera for me, has a heater core leak. So we're going to bypass the heater core because the heater core is a weak way and he just can't stop driving this truck. So you might be in this predicament. So we want to give you the information that you need to help you out. Uh, on this particular rig, it's a rear heater core on a 1998 excursion or an expedition. I can't, what is it? Expedition. So we're going to open her up. We're going to cut the lines show you how to do it and show you how to loop so there's countless youtubes on uh doing this job you've got to take the whole thing apart uh we want to do it with the least amount of work as possible because this is just a bypass and we want to be able to put it back together when the heater core comes in but so we're just gonna take this off and you can see right here we have two heater core lines right here what we're gonna do we're gonna cut the two of them right there and we're going to take a little piece so because we're going to have to go to the hardware store and get something to loop this together so we want to be able to basically size up the coupler that we're going to need to put this back together and uh we'll loop this up and get dave back on the road and we'll fix this replace this heater core at a later date but this is just to get you through it's a uh, it'll fix you in a pinch all right Let's go to the hardware store. So we're here at the hardware store, half inch elbow. And this will get get us back together and we'll get a couple of clamps and get her screwed up. All right. All right. The good thing about doing the bypass this way is when the part comes in, we can uh, take this out and just get two straights, plug them in and couple it back together. So it'll be easy peasy to get this to get this thing back together. But all we're gonna do for now is bypass it. So we're just gonna put that in there like so. Make sure that your clamp is up enough. And oh gotta make sure I got my got my clamp on. Alright. Alright clamp there and a clamp there i'm gonna back this one up a little bit i just want to get that in a little deeper all right all right and you want to make sure that you get your clamps on the teeth so it'll seal up properly All right, let's top up the antifreeze and make sure that we have no leaks. Captain Spilly Pants. You want to make sure you get your dog out here so, you know, clean up the mess or anything. Lap that right up. And it's fifty percent hot water, right? They'll see good afterwards. In all seriousness, folks, clean up your antifreeze spills. Protect our furry four-legged friends. All right, let's start her up.
make sure the thermostat opens up and we'll get a make sure we got no leaks in the back you can't assume anything because it makes an ass out of you and me so we bypassed the heater core lines and apparently we didn't bypass it close enough to the leak so we're behind the leak so now what we're going to do is we're just going to bypass it under the hood so it was still the right thing to do to buy try bypassing it back there because you basically you, you could hook it back up again. you you want to be able to hook it back up uh we know we're not going to hook it back up so we're just going to bypass it right here at the engine so we're bypassing any leaks that can be in the lines that run between here and the rear of the cabin so so now we're going to bypass it at the front so same thing we did back there And repeat the process. And this time I'm going to double clamp it just to be on the safe side. Oh, so we're basically bypassing the T. You could block these two passages, but I prefer to bypass it because then you can hook it back up if you if somebody wanted to down the road. That that makes sense. Yeah. Clear as mud. Clear as mud. So which line goes to the rear right now? Both of them. Okay. Yeah, both of these lines go go to the rear. This is the same set of lines that I cut in the back. The only difference being they're closer to the front. So where the leaks in the back. We're bypassing the leak, basically. So, so this is more of a permanent fix. I'm doubling up on the clamps. And whatever elbow you're using, make sure that it's good for heat. Not a problem to get elbows for cold water, but you need elbow for hot water. So let's uh, top her up with antifreeze and start over again. So if this was a bypassing your heater core video, we made it. Uh, so thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. You can hit that subscribe button right there. Don't be cheap. Leave a like. Watch another video. This guy out. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe.